Hey, how are you? Hope you're fine. And I'm back with another podcast. Today I want to discuss um, fear. Not just fear. I want to discuss the fear of looking ahead. Right? Uh, being scared of what's to come. Being scared of the future. Okay? Because it's something many of us feel. And of course, it's like a knot in your stomach. It's a nagging worry that won't leave you alone. But of course, we want to know why does it happen and what does it mean? Because once we know these two things, we know how to deal with it. We become better equipped, right? So why do we feel scared? So look, think of it like this. Our minds are wired to keep us safe. So when something uncertain pops up, like the future, our brain goes into overdrive. And it starts imagining all sorts of bad stuff that could happen. And this is very normal. But (laughs) when it gets out of control, it can make us feel really anxious. And our past experiences also play a very important role. It plays a big part. If we've been through tough times before, our brain remembers and it reminds us of those bad moments and makes us think that the future will be just as bad or even worse. But we need to find meaning in the fear. Okay, we need to dive into the deep stuff, which is why you guys are here. So look, think about this. We all know we're going to die someday. It's a scary thought. But that fear of the future is tied to bigger questions like, why are we here? What's the point of all of this? And of course, there's many clever people, philosophers, psychologists, just common people that have thought about this. And they say that knowing we will die makes us worry about what's ahead. It's like, We're racing against time. Or, as I would like to think about it, we're racing against ourselves. We're trying to find meaning before it is too late. So, how do we deal with this fear? I mean, what can we do? Well, of course, there are a few tricks. We can always train our minds to think differently. To focus on the good stuff instead of the bad and it sounds so simple but really it does come out down to that it does come to how positive you are how you think because how you think shapes the world you live in right and we can also try living in the moment enjoying what we have right now without worrying too much about tomorrow but then there's a deeper lesson here right some Wise people say that we should accept life as it comes, with all its twists and turns. And they would call it loving your faith. Even if you're religious or not religious, there is an idea of some faith, right? It's about embracing every part of life, even the scary bits, because they do make us who we are, correct? So... Why not we face tomorrow with hope? Because in the end, being scared of the future is natural. But it's also an opportunity to grow by understanding why we feel this way and finding ways to cope. We can face tomorrow with hope. We can turn our fear into a source of, let's say, strength, knowing that whatever comes our way, we'll be ready to handle it. So, it's very natural to be scared of the future. And personally, from me, how I deal with being scared of the future, and it's quite dark, (laughs) is I remind myself that, hey, I'm going to die. Okay, it's quite simple. I'm going to die. The worst case scenario is my death comes closer. Okay, it comes sooner. And that's it. That's how I like to think about it. But I like to go and take my steps forward. I like to embrace the hardships, the struggles. I like to fight against it because it's the only thing that shows me that I am worth it in life. Now, 
Maybe you have a different coping me mechanism. Maybe you have a different way of coping with it. But whatever it is, it is uh, you are scared of the unknown. Okay, when you are scared of the unknown, your mind is going to make up these mental images and these thoughts to fight against it. Right, because it's unknown. You don't know what's going to happen. So therefore, your mind always tries to protect you. Okay, your mind is like your guardian angel, your caregiver. And it's always going to tell you, no, don't do this and no, don't do that. But what you have to do is you have to guide your caregiver. You have to guide your guardian angel. Okay, I understand guardian angels, maybe they look out for you. But sometimes you need to show it that, hey, man, look, we're going to do this. and We're going to go forward and we're going to try. Okay, we're going to try and get to the place where we want to be. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you like this podcast. If you'd like to listen to more uh, topics like these, because I cover a lot of different topics such as philosophy, psychology, politics and different different things, uh, then do subscribe and do leave a comment down below. It does help with the video and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.